Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Allen, and thank you, Southern Baptists, for the extraordinary joy it is to stand before you for the first time as only the ninth person in the history of Christianity ever to be the president of the Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary. And just now, over 100 days as president, I am delighted to bring to you a report that begins with two words that you have heard from my uh, two preceding colleagues, and I know that you will hear from my uh, other colleagues to come, and that is thank you. Thank you for what you have done for so many years through the generous and sacrificial giving through your local visible New Testament churches through the cooperative program. What happened yesterday when you adopted that executive committee recommendation and the CP allocation budget, millions of dollars will be flowing to the six seminaries, including Southwestern, and every dollar that comes to one of our seminaries is a dollar we do not have to charge our students in tuition. And I want you to know my prayer is, amen, my prayer is that we will continue to see a strengthening of our cooperative program giving and our partnership together because at every one of our seminaries, including our seminary in Fort Worth, if Jesus tarries, we are training your grandchildren's pastors. And we want those pastors to be debt free. We want them to have every opportunity to succeed wherever God may call them, to the hard places, to the nations to follow the call of God. And that means we've got to make the investments now for a theological education that gets ever increasingly expensive. You've heard me say, if you've had the chance to follow me on Twitter or to see the work of our seminary, we've talked about a big tent vision for Southwestern Seminary. And I'm the first to say that is not an, an original vision. I did not come into the uh, presidency of Southwestern with some new vision uh, that is uh, independent and uh, distinct from the history of the institution. If anything, I've come to simply reanimate and reinvigorate that founding vision that goes back to a pastor scholar, B.H. Carroll, and First Baptist Church in Waco, Texas, and March 14, 1908, when the Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary was chartered. And for over 111 years, our seminary has been a seminary that has been committed to four key pillars. In fact, it's symbolized in the great memorial building, the dome, because when you see that dome, you know you're home at Southwestern Seminary, held up by four pillars or posts symbolizing our four key commitments. First of all, our commitment to a high view of Scripture, the inerrancy of the Bible is the Word of God. We are unapologetically committed to the full authority, sufficiency, trustworthiness, truthfulness, and power of the Bible as the written Word of God. In fact, 40 years ago, in Houston, Texas, Southern Baptists gathered together and made a courageous decision to elect Adrian Rogers as our convention president. And over that next year, as there were conversations and controversies about was inerrancy really a faithful representation of the historic Baptist position concerning the Bible? It was two Southwestern Seminary professors, Tom Nettles and Russ Bush, who wrote the book Baptist and the Bible that settled once and for all that inerrancy was not a recent innovation. It was the historic position of Baptist down through the tunnel of time. And our seminary stands on that firm foundation committed to the full authority and inerrancy and infallibility of the Bible. The Bible is the key textbook in every class at Southwestern Seminary. We are a text-driven seminary. Second poll is our commitment to the Baptist faith and message, our confessional fidelity. We are a pre-committed seminary. We are a seminary that is committed to the same doctrinal commitments as this convention of churches, the Baptist faith 
and message. And where the Baptist faith and message speaks, we will speak with crystal clear clarity and with unashamed conviction. But on areas where the Baptist faith and message allows for there to be a diversity on tertiary matters, we will celebrate that diversity. We want to be a seminary that is not just serving a tribe of Southern Baptists, but all Southern Baptists on Seminary Hill. And our seminary is always going to be working to find ways to cooperate rather than to separate, to bring people together rather than to drive people apart. It is not just our convictions that matter. It is the tone by which we communicate and transmit those convictions. The Great Commission is that third pole of that big tent vision. Our seminary was the first seminary, not just in the Southern Baptist Convention, but in North America to have a professor of evangelism on faculty, L.R. Scarborough, for whom the chair of fire, the L.R. Scarborough chair of evangelism is named. That chair has been held down through the tunnel of time by men of God like Malcolm McDowell and Roy Fish, and now held by my colleague, Dr. Matt Queen, our seminary has had a passion from the very beginning, not just to know the Word of God, but to help people encounter Jesus in a saving way. Because at the end of the day, what matters is our efforts and labors to do everything we can to take as many sons and daughters to glory as we possibly can. And if we fail in the area of evangelism, then we fail everywhere. And our passion our joy is seeing people come to Christ, beginning right in Tarrant County, Texas, and going to the nations. In fact, I believe that our seminary may be the most providentially situated of the six seminaries being located right in the Fort Worth, Dallas Metroplex. Seven and a half million people and over 320 unreached people groups represented in North Texas alone. If you have a heart to go to the nations and reach the nations with the gospel of Jesus Christ, come to Seminary Hill, come to Fort Worth, Texas, and get equipped to reach the nations right here and right now. In fact, at our booth in the exhibit hall, I hope you'll go by, and you'll pick up one of these passport covers for your passport that has our beautiful historic seminary seal. We brought back as our institutional brand and logo. I had the privilege recently to be at the International Mission Board, Board of Trustees meeting with Dr. Paul Chitwood and to talk about ways that we are looking to reinvigorate our partnership with historically the IMB's greatest sending seminary at one point in time. More than half of the IMB missionaries under career appointment were Southwesterners. And I've said it is my passion, my desire, especially after that incredibly compelling IMB presentation last night, that we must do more to do everything we can to challenge people to hear and to follow the call of God and to go to the nations that the nations might rejoice and to hear the gospel of Christ proclaimed. And our passport cover we're giving out is a symbol of that because I've said as president of Southwestern Seminary, I pray for the day that it would come that in a commencement exercise on our campus, that as every student would come through the line, before I would hand them their diploma, they'd produce for me a stamped passport because they would have taken their first mission trip while being a student at our seminary. The Great Commission is our mission. And then that fourth peg is cooperation. That's our commitment to the cooperative program. It's our commitment to our cooperative work as Southern Baptists. It is our commitment to maintaining the trust and confidence of our convention of churches who own our seminary. We are not a free agent seminary. We're not an independent seminary. We belong to you. Our accountability is to you. And as I've said from the very beginning, I am so thankful for the work of this convention of churches through your cooperative program allocation and through the election of our board of trustees that you hold our seminary in trust to the convention of churches because at the end of the day, every one of our seminaries is truly 
for the church because we are owned by the church. We belong to you. I realize in a Genesis 3 world, there are going to be times where our seminaries will come up short of the expectations you have for us. And in any and every area where our seminaries have come up short, we apologize to you. It is our resolve to do better. And with every fiber of my being, when I came to Southwestern Seminary as president, 20 years after coming from Birmingham, Alabama, after graduating from Sanford University to Fort Worth, Texas to begin my Master of Divinity Studies there, I've had a long-standing love and gratitude for Southwestern Seminary. And as the first alumnus in 25 years to sit in the president's chair, I'm committed to doing everything I can to see our seminary flourish, not for our namesake, not so people will know Adam Greenway's name or even Southwestern Seminary's name, but so that they will know the life-changing power of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the glory of God will be seen in Fort Worth, Texas and to the nations. Mr. President, that is my report, and I'm happy to receive any questions from our messengers.